Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this reactivity video, we will see that what is the use effect and why we have to use it. So these are the three points of, of this video. So first of all, we will see what is the use effect, what is the life cycle method, and the example of the use effect. Use effect is basically a hook, which is used for uh, use the life cycle method inside the functional component because the life cycle method cannot be called in the functional component they are only work in the class component all right so this is basically hook to use life cycle methods in the functional component and now what is the life cycle method so every component have a several stages like initializing mounting updating and unmounting so every time we sometime we need to some kind of event like on a event initialize uh, component initialization you just want to call an api and component updating you just want to show some message and on the component unmounting you just want to remove some data and all so for that we can use the use effect in the functional component so now let's move with the example so uh, first of all i'm just going to remove the whole code and just going to import react from react library after that uh, let's import some component from react native uh, from react mm. react native and the component can be like view and text and button and now let's define the component like uh, const app and this app can be uh, functional uh, component so now let's return here mm -hmm. in the return we can basically use a view and let's close it and here let's use the text and the button also the text let's def just write here use effect and on a button I am just going to just like title equal to date me right so don't go on that code which is the which is the previous code and now um, just export default app so now uh, let's uh, just enlarge the text with the style so font size can be 100 yeah that's great so for now this is not working so as you know that life cycle methods are uh, uh, in a functional component cannot be used and we have to use the use effect method so that first of all I'm just going to import the two things one is the use effect use state and use effect all right so use effect is similar to work like a uh, uh, life cycle method so same method will be behave like the three life cycle method one is the component did mount component did update and component did unmount so component will mount when it is called when um your component is just initialized all right so similar thing whenever i am just going to refresh this screen and you can see that it will automatically call so this is the one use so let's say you just want to call an api then you can call api here because this use effect method will, will be automatically called when your component is going to be load all right now let's see the second thing so your component let's say you just want to make some showing some message when your component is actually updated for that what actually you can do that for that this is also useful so i am just going to update a state on okay so first of all i just have to define on button click and when we will see the example of this so let's take const and in the const let's take a state with the info and set info and it can be uh, use state and by default value can be like zero and now i am just going to define my state here i'm just showing my state here right so 
so here you can see that the zero is here on uh, on test on test uh, we can just uh, mm, update this state so just write here set info guys if you don't know about the set state then you can uh, check out from the description box here the complete playlist is given here right so just show your info plus one right so the now uh, on the every press the component will be updated because state is just going to update and this console is also going to be uh, update here so if I just write here info then it will update every time like this right so if you just want to show some messages here and just perform some uh, logic here then you can also do it like the component is updated right so it will be automatically called here now you can see that like this right so you can also just make a condition here like say if info equal equal to four then only this alert will be shown right so like this so let's refresh it now let's uh, just calculate the state three four and now you can see that the alert is showing here so you can just make some condition like here so this is the very useful uh, hook in the functional component so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care